We have team coverage on this developing story for you tonight. News 6's Troy Campbell is at Seminole High School, but we start with News 6's Treasure Roberts. She joins us from Central Florida Regional Hospital. That's where the victim is being treated tonight. So Treasure, what have you learned? Well, the family has been here all day and all night with their 18 year old son, Javon McIntyre. Police say he was shot three times by another student at Seminole High School this afternoon. The father, the victim's father, telling me today he still can't believe this happened and at his school of all places. He and the family, though, say they're just grateful that he's going to be okay. We're currently in a code red lockdown due to an incident on or near the main campus. An urgent alert sent to the phones of hundreds of Seminole High School parents Wednesday. I, mean, I jumped in my truck. I came right up. I was one of the first people up here. Sanford police say around noon shots fired on campus sent students frantically scurrying down halls and even hiding in closets. The school was placed on lockdown and perimeters were established around the building. The accused gunman, a 16 year old student. Police say he shot 18 year old Javon McIntyre cornerback on the school's football team. He was found with gunshot wounds in the Tomahawk building at the back of campus and rushed to Central Florida Regional Hospital in Sanford. The victim's father telling News 6 he was shot in both legs and his wrist. Teams began to do searches inside of the Tomahawk building, the surrounding areas for the suspect. A possible direction was identified that the suspect had uh, possibly run toward the Rosalia apartment. While on the hunt for the shooter, officers found the gun. Law enforcement located a 9mm in the uh, bushes around the tennis court. The accused gunman, 16-year-old student Doravius Smith, is charged with attempted homicide. Not long after, Smith was found and taken into custody. With the assistance of the witness and staff in school in school surveillance, it was later determined that the suspect was the only shooter. Police determining this was all over an argument about a girl. This incident that occurred today is one that we prepare for. We hope it never happens. Uh, we're grateful that there was no loss of life today. However, the gravity of this, that thing that happened, doesn't lessen the fact. I've been checking in with the victim's father throughout the night. He says that McIntyre is now out of surgery and is resting. Now, although he's going to be okay, the family worries that his injuries could impact his future in football. And also he says he, his father was actually a very close friend of the suspect's father. He says that makes this all the more harder. Live in Sanford, Treasure Roberts getting results, New Six. Treasure, thank you.